In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix a broken flush lever or a toilet handle. And we're going to do it right now. So here we have a broken flush lever. It's snapped right off. So first step to replace it is to take the cover off of the tank carefully. And you can see it just snapped right off and dropped right down there. So to fix this, I need a whole new lever and that's easy enough. I got this one. It was five bucks, pretty inexpensive. You can get metal ones if you prefer that work the same way. And this is for uh, this kind of lever, but sometimes they're on the side and sometimes they're longer and shorter, but this is gonna be universal for all those types of levers. Um, this one fits two different sizes, the longer and shorter of this type. It would not work for a lever that's on the side. Uh, but to start, I'm gonna take my lever out of the package and all it is is basically this handle and this nut. And the only tools you're gonna need, actually you probably only need an adjustable wrench. If you don't have an adjustable wrench big enough for this nut, you can use um, just a bigger wrench or if you actually have the size wrench for the nut, that would work too. And I'm also gonna use a pair of scissors with my name on them so nobody confuses them because on here they tell you to cut off a certain section so first thing I'm gonna do is take this flush lever off. So something that's very important to note here is this is reverse thread. Uh, so you don't wanna go trying to take this off and you think that it's, it's just tight. Uh, don't crank it this way because you could crack the porcelain. So be careful with that. Uh, take your adjustable wrench and it fits right on there and go the opposite way that you would think. It's not righty tighty lefty loosey. Just like this. Take this off. There's your nut. Then you take this out. So if it was broken uh, a different way, basically this would be in here like this and you would just have to snake it out just like that. Now I need to retrieve the old handle and don't worry this isn't uh, sewer water or anything so you can put your hand in here this never touches the bowl well it touches the bowl but it's not dirty basically so you want to take this clip off of the old flush lever. There we go. Now for the chain, mine seems to be a little bit short, but you can usually hook it right on here just so you don't drop it in the water. But if I do that, I'm probably gonna flush the toilet and it's just gonna keep running. So I'm gonna hook it right in there and it's gonna drop. <laughs> so I'll just grab that later. But it'd just be easier if you hook it on here. So there's my broken flush lever. Put it down here so we can compare and this was where the handle was so it was basically like this and just take note of which hole this went into mine was this one right here so we're going to put that into the same hole and it looks like it's the last hole here and i don't know if you can read that but it says cut it says cut right after that. I'm actually not gonna cut this because I don't think there's a need to, but um, you can use this section here and then cut off the extra if you don't need it. I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. And then we can feed it through here. Up over this thing. Like this. Make sure it's going this way. And before I put that chain on, 
what I want to do is put this nut right over here and the nut goes this way with the flange towards the edge of the tank and remember it's opposite thread so we'll start that on the reason it's opposite thread is because as you use this you don't want to tighten it up or uh, loosen it up I mean so tighten that that looks good looks like it's working so you don't want to crank this down because you could crack the porcelain so you just want to go a little bit more than hand tight that's as much as I'm gonna go now you can take your lever if you hooked it on here it's gonna be easy for you but I gotta go in here and set it up and this is kind of however you kind of want the chain straight up from the bottom so wherever it seems like it wants to hook in the best is which hole you should put it in there we go that chain's all hooked up lever seems to be working let's test it out Okay, so what happens is you push this lever down, it pulls that flapper up. And it's all the flushes. Awesome. And you just put the cover back on the tank. And you should be good to go. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, let me know by leaving a like below Leave a comment, let me know how I did. Uh, if you want to see more of my content, you can click here and here -ish. Go check those videos out. And if you haven't subscribed yet and you want to see more home repairs like this, go ahead and do that if you're interested. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching.